Hello viewers, well, I found another blown wedge, uh, blown bulb here. Here's a wedge bulb. Automotive, um, dash, dash warning light bulb. Let's put it in the microwave. Okay, viewers, I found two more blown light bulbs in the back of the shed. Here's the last of the incandescent ones. This is about, I think it's about four years old. So, we bought this one just as I started phasing them out. As you can see, this is the old shape. So you can see it's starting to shrink the size of the envelope down. The halogen ones use this size envelope. This is the old size envelope. They don't make them this big anymore. You can see the size difference there. They shrunk the envelopes down. So, they're both um, Philips, made in Indonesia. That was a 100 watt. Had no... Um, uh, vented, there's no uh, vacuum left in that. So I threw it on the ground at the time when it blew in frustration. Hit the ground so hard it didn't break the envelope but it actually bent the uh, the um, stems there that connect the filament. So it landed that way, this force just bent bent them. And that one there's um, yeah, been sitting around for a long time. This is a Phillips as well, I'd say I think it was a 25 watt, either way. Microwave victims now. Okay, if you was on a heat brick, protect the base from burning out, and some of those light bulbs in there. Easy, conveniently switching it on. Put this into a good test, it makes it a lot easier. I'll get an extension cord so I can switch this thing on and off remotely. Um, there we Cord's gotten stuck. I hate when it happens. You're going to get your extension cord out, and you've got so much crap in the way, everything piled on top of it, the bloody plug or socket end gets caught on the something. Frustrating. All right. Shut the door. Yep, it's balanced. All right. Plug this in. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Looks better in real life. That one's gonna go pop. Green and purple plasma. The camera won't pick it up like that though. There we go. Whoa! That was awesome. Now the other one's turned. Yeah, it looks more green in real life than what the cabo could pick it up as. Here we go. Whoa, that was epic. <laughs> Redneck glass cutting. Yeah, that's what the heat bricks for. Stop the, stop the metal um, bayonet caps arcing to the floor and burning it. Now I think that what's getting red hot is a metal and that's heating the glass up. And then the glass is so hot the glass is absorbing microwaves and melting. And that's what's happening there, the glass is all liquefied. Epic. There you go, and that's how you melt glass in your microwave. Easy. Hmm, might be a good way to cut a bottle. Put a bit of wire around it, nice and tight, and microwave it. And the wire gets hot and cuts a bottle in half. Cool, the heat it's protecting the microwave. We're pulling about, yeah, about five minutes we're pulling. Yeah, the glass is getting hot now. before the magnetron burns out. Unplug safety first. Yeah, it's not even that warm. I'm surprised it's not even that warm. You see the glass has just melted like water. Oh, you can smell it. Here we are. 
See how hot the glass got? See, it melted. Hmm. A type of art. Look at that. The only metal left is a little... Oh, there you go. Fell off. And there's a glass that melted there. The brick. Well, that got really hot there. That absorbed microwaves that bit. Hmm. Interesting. There's heaps of swear outside on, on the ground, so the slightest bit of moisture is what is a hot. Our viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.